Hello, hello again. I wanted to uh, take advantage and uh, show you during video number two of how I achieved this actual little white line, basically using a little artist paint, painter's brush here and just going within these little grooves. You don't really ne have to necessarily go in a straight line. You can actually just kind of scatter it throughout um, with your brush, just kind of every other little area so that when you wipe away the excess it stays in place. Go into these little grooves here like so. Even just kind of scatter it a little bit. That's exactly how it's done guys. It's, there's no really like major technique or big secret for getting these things done. It's just having fun with it. It's going to be a little messy sometimes when you're doing it but that's exactly how it works. I then take my damp cloth which I kind of keep close by dip it in a little cup of water here and then go back and basically just wipe away the excess. So I kind of want you to see that. I'm just wiping away the excess, okay? Just wiping it away, creating that little line. See that little white line that's kind of starting to form there in the groove? Whether the cloth is pushing it in or either whether um, it's the fact that it's already kind of started to sink in because it's not really my good chalk paint. It's just some old uh, chalk paint that I had sitting around for my last job that I almost dried out and I just didn't want to give up on it. So I put it in a Ziploc bag and saved it to see what it would be like. Again, another experiment from the amateur decorator and that's how it works. See those little drops of white coming in through there? That's as simple as it is for achieving that little fine line and just putting another color in it. I could add two or three more colors in that and do the same thing. And you don't want to busy it up too much, but I know that I love the cream, the blue, and the color of the wood and then that old varnish coming through. That's how that's done.